Good afternoon, campers. I've just pitched up it, well, seemingly about half an hour up at um, Stonehenge. It's 50, oh no, it's not, what the hell is that time now? 14.56 in metric. It's four minutes to three in English. Well, I'm up here in, uh, what do you call it? Daisy's outside. Here she is. Uh, Daisy! Yeah, she's gone deaf. Anyway, here we are. There's the stones over there. I might mooch down and see my mate Darren and see what he's about. Or I expect he'll wander up here. Um, yeah, you know, I'm starting to feel a lot better now. It's bloody <coughs> getting a cold sweat still, but I'll survive. I will survive. Um, yeah, not a lot to say, really. Um, just been on that bloody well. It's been on. I've been on for a couple of days. On that, um, I can't remember what it's called. Is it called Travelling Crusties or Crusties Travelling Site or something? I always just looked on the bloody beginning of it where it says about this is a very, very friendly site and what have you. And I put a bloody thing of a, um, what's this fucking Greta Garbo? What's her name? It bloody dippy bird, this young girl. It's keep going about climate control. Don't about she on there. God, I got some fucking abuse on that one bloke. Reckon it, I was, I was too old. I was a fucking, an air stealer. I made me fucking chuckle. Um, I ought to go to Switzerland and get myself sorted out over there. Well, I've been to Switzerland. But I come back. I don't think you want me to come back. Or at least you want me to come back breathing. Yeah, there are some nice people on there. I mean, what, what it is, I think it's all the fucking drugs they take and all the things. It must be, because some of it's fucking bugged them. There's some bird on there. She, um, I can't remember what she calls it. Cob. Cob something. God, that's a piece of work, that is. All it does is swears at you. Got no con constructive content. Or nothing, you know. You know. I expect she's one of them women that's got like three kids by five blokes. Something like that. Oh. Yeah, I don't really care. They do make me laugh, though. And, um, you can do things on there, though, and you can just say something. A throwaway comment, you know. And you think to yourself, they'll bite. And then put the phone down, or the computer down. Watch a film. Go back on there, and there's 80 comments. And not one of them constructive in a boat. All of them be swearing, abuse, calling your names, what have you. But it's a friendly site, so they say. Well, they've got thousands and thousands of people in it, but there's only they've got about 20 protagonists in there that just want to do it. You can always tell the ones that are going to be mouthy and chopsy. They've never got their picture on there. You know, nobody nobody knows who they are. You know, you know, they just go out there and they say, well, hide away, and all they do is sit down and go, rah, 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 everybody like that. Oh, the world's going to be doing this. Oh, the world's going to be doing that, you know. You know? And it's fuck all they can do about it. You know, they got no control. You know, just sit there in there, call it crusty travellers. They reckon about, you know, the fake travellers and this, that, and the other. But, I mean, if you join a travelling site, it don't mean to say you're a fucking crusty traveller, do it? It just means you've got interest in it. And maybe even support for it. But then again, they make sure you... They make sure support goes away. Because they just prove to you what they fucking really are. You know? Well, there's a few of them are all right. You know? I'm quite sensible. And uh, get the odd private message, you know? Giving me names of people to wind up. That's quite, that's quite amusing as well. I ain't got a bottle to fucking wind them up themselves. But, yeah, the thing is, though, for somebody to wind you up, you've got to let them wind you up, haven't you? You've got to be in the market for being wound up. You've got to be that sort of disposition, haven't you? Does that make, does that make a difference? Does that make, make sense? You know, I'm going to say, because some people don't fucking change. I mean, like, you know, I was a biker. Well, I've always been a biker. I mean, you don't have to ride a motorbike to be a biker. I've still got four bikes. You know, I don't ride them very much, you know. And, um... Yeah, I just bought a new bike last fucking September. Well, when we was 700 miles to the clock. Drove about seven miles and put it in the shed. But, um, yeah, I used to get that in the summer and have a little mooch about it. It's only a little tiny, tiny bike. Not like me big bikes, but I always have that and maybe I can carry it out in the van with me. But you never know. Yeah, but they do make you fucking chuckle. Look at that traffic out there. I don't know if you can, if you can see it. You can make it out, can you? Camera. 
can I put? Why can't I put the? Put the camera upside down. It's a camera. I got you. I thought I got my finger off the bloody camera, haven't I? So where's the camera then? Oh, yeah, then. Anyway, there you go. I don't know if you can see any better. Well, that's coming down from the countless roundabout. That's Chocker Block, we're going to London, it's quite clear. Yeah, anyway, getting back to, um, getting back to these crusty travellers. Yeah, I mean, it did make me smile. I mean, I've, uh, Done thousands of miles on motorbikes, spent times in tents. When the fucking riot went off over here at the beam field, I was up here. You know, it just makes me laugh. You know, they don't know who you are or what you are. You know, you can say it's fucking been in bike clubs, outlaw bike clubs. You know, we're president of Lowlanders for a few years. You know, not the biggest well known club about, but still a club about. Yeah. You know, they just don't know the lifestyle they just don't understand it. They just sit back there smoking their drugs and uh letting their lives bounce away I suppose. But so I've been retired five years and uh led a quite an easy life since but I was forty two. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's a bit of a bit of a thing that makes you laugh, doesn't it, you know? But, like, you get it, like, I mean, I had a bloody guy give me a load of abuse on here. And um, I think he's admin on, what's it called? Campervan Singles? So. And, well, he's got it all written, I still got, I still got it all written down on the bloody, um, on my private messages. You know, his threats and fucking this, that and the other. And then I just thought I put on it was, yeah, I'll see you one day. Oh, don't you threaten me. He said, I'll get the police, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll take you for every penny you got. Well, if he took me for every penny you got, he'd be a fucking rich bloke. He'd have plenty of money. Yeah. That's all I do is I, avoid, I just hope I don't die before the money runs out. Yeah. But when I remonstrated with him up here, I seen him up here one day. Went for words and we had speaks together. He didn't like that very fucking much. He must have been fucking 25 years fucking younger than me. Yeah. Hour and a half later, I get a phone call from the police. Well, I get a phone call from my address, my, um, the address I use for a post. Well, the police were here looking for you. He said, Yeah, I thought they would. And he said, um, We're not, he doesn't want to press charges. I said, Doesn't he? He went, no. I said, wasn't there any witnesses? He went, no. They said, there will be no fucking witnesses next time, neither. I do love it. I love a bit of fucking... I still love a bit of aggravation, even my fucking age. Yeah. Should go over it, really, shouldn't I? Fucking hell, you know, 72 next year. Should calm down a bit, really. But I'm still not, um... Backward in coming forward and remonstrating with somebody. Yeah. But it's the ones on here, like they say, don't put their pictures up, don't put anything, don't know where they are, who they're from, or what they are, they just say what they want to say. And on that crusty travelling site, whatever it is, so it says the best in the original. So, get on there. But then again, I put, the, I put that um, video up, or that video, the picture up, and go all the aggravation, and then admin takes it down. So, you know, so it's not what well, I say admin's taking it down, it's for getting on her now. Mm, but... Yeah. I don't get off with every few because I, I swear, I swear quite a lot. But I, mean, I don't swear at people. You know what I mean? I just swear. You know, I wish I bloody didn't really. But yeah, it's just a uh, does make me smile, these people. Yeah. You know, I keep on about oh bloody um ah, she's got off of the Scotland, he's right up near Aviemore now. So I hope he's got a bit of skiing in him. I sort of fancy that, but <coughs> I don't fancy going there not well. Well I don't know the bloke. You know, don't want me so fucking bowling up, does he? He don't want me bowling up with a bottle of tequila. He can't remember it very well. I never go about with only one bottle of tequila. Don't want me fucking bowling up, getting that fucking drug he can't do his blogs for three days. Um, yeah. 
That's one thing Okiri Dole said to me, fucking said, well, he never said the landlord of the, uh, the Axe, which is now a car sales place in Southwick. He said, uh, that fucking chalky white, he don't drink normally. And when he drinks, he don't drink normally. Yeah. Yeah, we're indoors all about me not being well yesterday. He said, I'll get some fucking whiskey inside me. She said, or something. She said, gargle with it and spit it out. I'll fucking gargle with it and spit it out. Gargle with it and fucking swallow it. Did it? Bloody gargle it and spit it out. What a load of bollocks that is. I told her too. You know, she didn't speak to me now. Right, here you go, here you go. Yeah, you've got a smile, haven't you? It'll make me chuckle sitting about listening to bloody different people. I had a bloody bloke, um, what was it, the other day, um, uh, I can't remember what he bloody, what he was on about, he was on about some rubber. You know, yeah. Tell you what, have you ever kissed a nun? I kissed one once. Well, I kissed, I actually kissed two of them. I wouldn't kiss no more because I didn't want to get any habit. But it's, uh, yeah. I can remember when we were younger and we used to have a bloody, we used to have an old pair when the kids was growing up. And I was off there because we used to live in the house, never had no, no, no water or nothing, in, uh, no heat in the house now. And I were off down the pub and uh, I come back on a Wednesday night and my missus said to me, she said, she said, you know, um, Clara, I went, yeah. She says she ain't got no hair on her fanny. I went, shut up, of course she's got hair on her fanny. She says she ain't. Of course, well, whatever that hair on, on and fucking everybody was covered in hair then. That's what they used to look like. Yeah, and um, she said she ain't. And I said, bloody hell, I said, it must look like a bunny box then. She said, well, do a bit. She said, well, I'll tell you what, I said, next, next Wednesday, she said, when you go down the uh, skittles, she said, I'll leave the curtain drawn. He said, when she's in the bath by the fire, she said, I'll look for the window. He said, you see for yourself. I went, all right. So next place he comes, you know, come out, come on in, you know. And he said, did you look through the window? And I went, yeah. She said, did you see it? I went, yeah. I said, no, she's not like that with no hair on it. She went, no. And I said, and I said, and she said, she said, I said to Clara, she said, she said, because most women, they keep them, let them go all bushy, like, you know, hang outside their knickers, like, kept warm. And she went, do they? And she went, yeah. She said, so, so, I said, she, my missus got her fucking knickers down, didn't she? She got her as a like that. And I said to her, I said, you didn't need to do that. You know, I said, that one really, really long. She said, well, I'll worry about you. She said, look at the window. She said, you've seen it a hundred times before. And I went, I know I have. I said, but the fucking Skittle team haven't. Anyway, I'm going to go now, because this takes a talking bollocks, isn't it? So I'll speak to you all later. Remember, stay classy. You know, fighting. Uh, bye-bye. Put the kettle on.